In the headlines, enhancement to the education sector through the signing of an MOU, a call for Dominicans to put a party politics aside to unite the country, and the continued lobbying for the better procurement of government projects. I'm Andrea Lee with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Flo helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Thank you for saying this. First up, further improvements to the education sector through the signing of an MOU. Credisha St. Louis has that story. The MOU, dubbed Connecting the Education System of the 21st Century with the Economy, was signed between the Ministry of Education and the Inter-American Agency for Cooperation, OAS, on Friday. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Shanla Hyacinth, stated that the ministry is making a notable effort to equip learners with competencies for the 21st century. She also noted that this signing comes at a time where there has been a major shift in educational learning goals worldwide as seen in the Goals for Sustainable Development. The shift in focus on the Sustainable Development Goals places emphasis, emphasis on global citizenship, education and education for sustainable development. This shift recognizes the need for education systems to equip learners with competencies for the 21st century. These competencies include skills of problem solving, collaboration, critical thinking, communication, and creating an innovation. The Permanent Secretary revealed that research refers to the four C's of 21st century learning as communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. She also noted that Dominica recognizes the importance of improving the quality of education as part of the solution to improving its social and economic development and align education to the economy, hence the signing of this MOU. This project that we are signing here today is just about this. How can we make education in Dominica aligned to skills for the 21st century? The integral development of the Inter-American Agency for Cooperation and Development Fund, the OAS, and through its executive secretariat, who is here with us this morning, this afternoon, has been working with Dominica in an education project for Dominica. The Ministry of Education is responsible for the implementation of this project. The project is entitled, Connecting the Education System of the 21st century with the economy. It promotes the creation of opportunities to align the quality, inclusive, and equitable education systems of the 21st century to the economy of Dominica. The process of consultations began in 2018 with 223,000 EC dollars being approved for the implementation of this project, which is expected to end in March 2021. 
The three main approved objectives include promoting the creation of opportunities to ensure universal access to quality, inclusive, and equitable education for vulnerable and low-income students, strengthening of the training and professional development of teachers to improve quality of education in Dominica, and to promote universal access and strengthen equitable delivery of comprehensive and quality early childhood education for all. The purpose of this signing ceremony was to establish terms and conditions for this contribution from this partnership with the OAS. The instruments of this project will outline the project format, the general conditions of this project, the execution plan, the reporting mechanism, and that is the technical and financial reporting process. It will outline the rules for selecting and hiring of consulting firms and experts who will be working with the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development. It will also outline the rules for procurement of goods and resources and it also has a monitoring and evaluation plan. In Mortal Stories, a call for an end to political tribalism and polarization in the country. The call came from Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt while addressing the nation during the Praise and Thanksgiving concert on Thursday, 19th September. In this tense political climate, the Prime Minister called for an end to political tribalism and polarization so that Dominicans can work together in peace and unity to continue to rebuild and move forward from the ravages of Hurricane Maria. The division is a claim on our national identity and sense of unity as a people. Just as we restored broken homes and roadways, just as we replanted lost crops, just as we piece our country back together, we must now sow seeds of national unity. Building, binding all old wounds and creating an environment of peace, of national unity, and a common and collective consciousness of who we are, what we are capable of, and a belief in our capacity to inject new dynamism in Dominion. The Category 5 hurricane brought mass destruction and devastation to Dominica on 18 September 2017. The Prime Minister commended the country for its remarkable progress in all sectors over the past two years and invited Dominicans at home and abroad to move the nation to its next phase of development. Together, all Dominicans must now prepare for the next phase of our national development. A stronger, more resilient, more developed, more dynamic Dominica. When I say all Dominicans, I mean all Dominicans. Those at home and abroad, and those of every political persuasion. This country belongs to all of us, to each and every one of us. It is our duty and our responsibility to give Dominica our very best. For those who were not able to attend Thursday's Praise and Thanksgiving concert, here are a few highlights.
In other developments, Independence 2019 will feature a host of new activities and events to improve patient experience. Here again is Kardisha St. Louis. Speaking at the launch of the Independence celebrations earlier this week, Chief Cultural Officer Raymond Lawrence highlighted the new features on the Independence calendar of activities. To be held in the community of Giraud de Leglestone on Friday, October 18th, and Saturday, October the 19th. This activity is being organized by the people of Giraud de Leglestone, and there is also La Juan Abalalin, which is Ring Games in the Moonlight, an activity organized by the Public Service Union, and this will be held at the Botanic Gardens on Saturday, October the 12th, from 7 p.m. Another new activity is the Dexia Food Fair, which will take place from Wednesday, October 30th to Friday, November the 1st at the Roseau Market. It will be more of a lunchtime activity from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. with different Creole foods featured on every day. Lawrence went on to describe the Independence Panorama, a steel pan experience. Which will feature the existing steel bands and individual steel pan players in Dominica. This event is being sponsored by the Dominica Lotteries Commission. The Independence Panorama will be held at the People's Park on Tuesday, October 29th, starting at 6 p.m. Somewhere midway the panorama, we hope to reveal the lights which will be installed at the Negmawa Monument and the War Memorial. These lights are being sponsored through the kind courtesy and assistance of Dominic. Another new feature will be a tribute to Dominican icon Jean Lawrence Mathurin, scheduled for Wednesday, October 30th at the Alliance Francaise from 7 p.m. This year marks 50 years since Jean Lawrence Mathurin founded the acclaimed Chifle Mortang Chorale in Dominica. The Miss OECS pageant to be held on Friday, November 1st at the forecourt of the Windsor Park Sports Stadium with contestants from around the OECS, one of the flagship events for the Creole season, has returned after a one-year hiatus. Creole in the Park is back this year for three days instead of four. This year it will run from Tuesday, October 22nd to Thursday, October 24th and the event is presented and sponsored by Flo. The official opening of Independence is carded for September 28th. However, before that are the National Days of Prayer on Saturday 21st and Sunday 22nd September. Kadisha Senfui, Channel 5 News. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here, all your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Welcome back. Continued lobbying for the transparent procurement of government projects. This was the action decided upon by the Dominica Builders and Contractors Association, BCAD, at its recent general meeting. President of BCAD, Anthony Leblanc, believes not enough local contractors benefit from the numerous construction projects being funded by the government. Last May, the general body mandated that the executive look at the areas of public procurement um, re well, a revit of public procurement um, to address the incidence of 
unfair um, procurement practices by the present um, public service, present government, in that the majority of local contractors are not given an opportunity for transparent participation in government purchases of goods and services. Um, <coughs> we detailed to them what we have done so far, and um, it was a general body to decide where we go next. Um, some of the things that we have done is trying to have meetings with the permanent secretaries and the financial secretary on matter of procurement. According to Leblanc, the association's executive is yet to meet with the permanent secretary of housing. However, members have met with the financial secretary earlier this year and are due to meet with the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Public Works next month. The general body decide that um, they need to support the executive in a stronger manner and that whatever we do, um, whatever we, we want the direction to go, that they will support it. Um, that includes the general body decide that a number of them will come along if um, their support is needed. And we said yes, their support is needed because um, it, it, it's, it's necessary to show that the leadership is not in isolation of the flock. Um, that they will be with us and will go out with us, whatever is requested of them. The BCAT president says as a result of what the association deems to be unfair practices, it is difficult to support the Citizenship by Investment Program, CBI, which funds these major development projects. When funding is, is received from the World Bank or the European Union or CDB, Dominican contractors have equal opportunity to get these works. And when works are being funded by the CBI funds, Dominican contractors are at a very disadvantage. Um, that's why we find it very difficult to support, to continue to support the CBI program because it's our demise. Among the CBI funded housing projects being undertaken by a foreign company are the Bellevue Showbury Settlement and the apartment complexes on the East Coast as well as in Portsmouth. And relief on the way for farmers and motorists in the Salisbury constituency. Several road repair projects are underway to improve the access to several farms within the Salisbury area. One of the more important projects is the feeder road project funded by the BAM. Before Maria, we were uh, enjoying work on the BAM, on the feeder road through the BAM. After Maria, that came to a halt. And um, the, the road itself, the is facing some little challenges. That is to say, um, with the contractors and the contracting agency, BAM, and that is in the final stages of being um, resolved. And as soon as it is resolved, we will uh, continue repairing the Salisbury Feeder Road. As per the section on the other side, the Cuba side, uh, which we refer to as CAHOM, the Prime Minister and our entire team, the Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Public Works, and and, all, and farmers interested in the area and farming in the area visited that site and a decision was taken to have work started on that, start on that piece of road where we had the slide which cut off access, that is to say road access to people's farm in Cahom and very soon we'll have the contractor beginning works on that. Some farm access roads to farmer holdings which suffered damage from Hurricane Maria have been repaired and there are still other such roads to be fixed. As regards the Tima Koshri Road, Esprit says work will continue on the concreting of this road to the point where the road was cut off by a landslide in Kahum. Apart from the farm access roads, there is ongoing work on one of the main village roads. We had a program to restore and to repair all village roads before Maria. But Maria came, so priorities shifted. But we're moving back to where we were. So we now back to repair in village roads and so on. And one of these village roads in the constituency is the Grand Savan Road, which is home to the RF nursing home. And um, it's critical because many instances, um, they would have to call ambulances to maybe take one of the elderly to the hospital because of ailment and so on. And the road was a bit bad. And so when we repair it, it would be a plus for the people, the owners and operators of the home and the users of the home, yeah. and, and also the residents of the area. 
a new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. Enhancements to the education sector through the signing of an MOU. A call for Dominicans to put the party politics aside to unite the country. And the continued lobbying for the better procurement of government projects. Feel free to contact us at news at marvin2k4.com. You can also access or pass the newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend.